Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. This is another silly one. We're putting a mustache on a man. Now, at first glance, this kind of seems like it's something simple, but let me kind of tell you what we're doing here is we're doing some tracking, but it's a bit tricky to do some tracking on a rotating head like this. And so what you're going to learn from this tutorial is how to track a rotating head and be able to, you know, stick a mustache onto it in 3D space. And um, you can see that I made the mustache so it's a little bit thicker, so it looks like it's actually real and not, uh, you know, just a flat mustache image on the face. And also it moves a little bit to give it a little bit more of a lifelike feel. So let's get started with a brand new composition. Command or Control N will do that. It'll bring up the composition settings, and let's just call this Mustache Man, and we don't need it six seconds. I just had it six seconds on the other one because I could show both. Now, let's bring in our footage. So here's my footage. This is Brian. Turns and looks at the camera. That looks good. I just got three seconds. That's all I need. I'm going to drag and drop this down into my composition, and that's the shot we want right there. So now... First off, in order to track something that's rotating like this, you have to kind of hack the system. The normal 2D tracker is not going to work because this isn't moving in two dimensions. It's moving in three dimensions. He's rotating his head. So what you do is let's duplicate this layer, and then it's pre-compose, so Command-Shift-C, and make sure it's set to move all attributes. And we'll, just, we'll call this head track. And we'll come in here. We need to change the composition size. So I'm going to just right click, go to composition settings. So you can do that by right clicking off of um, off of your composition here. Or you can go up to composition and go to composition settings. Or you can hit command or control K if you wanted to know. But composition settings, let's come in here. And I'm going to move this out of the way so I can see. And I'm going to bring down quite a bit. I want it to be mostly just his head. Okay. And then I'm going to move the head so it's in about right there. So now that I look at this, um, I want to maybe make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to come back into the composition settings and Basically, I don't want anything but his rotating head. So none of his shoulders. Let's try that. About like that. So let's come in and add a sharpen effect to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen up this footage just to give the tracker a little bit more something to, to grab onto. And then let's take this and pre-compose it. Make sure you move all the attributes. Click OK. And we're going to use the camera tracker, the 3D camera tracker. And then I'm going to go in and make sure I have detailed analysis checked because I want to have that little extra processing power there. And the reason why I'm doing the 3D camera tracker is because we're tricking this. The 3D camera tracker tracks the movement of a camera. Now, since the camera's not moving and the head is moving, it's going to see these points and assume that the camera is panning or rotating around the stationary object. It's assuming that the head is stationary and that the camera is moving. So it's going to be able to get us kind of a, a tricky way of tracking this head. Just waiting for the camera to finish solving, and then we can see how good the track did. Okay, it's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and create the camera. Now I'm going to come in on the 3D camera tracker. I'm going to just maybe this one right here by the eye, create a new null object, and then that's pretty good. So what I do next is I'm going to take this camera and this null. I'm going to copy them. Let's go back into my main composition, and I can go ahead and hide this. Actually, I can even just delete that head track. And let's paste in the new camera and the new null object. Now, it's not in the exact same spot because I had moved the footage around inside of that composition, but it's going to be good enough for what we need to do, and I can adjust things later. So the next thing is let's bring in the mustache. So I have just a picture of a mustache here, 
And let me go ahead and pre-compose this. And I want to hit leave all attributes because I want the composition to be the same size as the mustache. And let's go into this composition and let's key out the background. So I'm going to use an obsolete. It's called the Luma Key. If you're in an older version of After Effects, it might not be obsolete. It might be in the keying menu. I just like it better than the new um, option they have, which is Extract. I just feel like the, the Luma Key works a little bit better for how I work. So I'm going to key out Brighter, bring up the threshold, and let's feather the edge just a touch. That's looking pretty good. Now I want to get to the where the mustache is up front, and then I'm going to take this layer, the mustache layer, let's go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to turn it 3D, and immediately it kind of throws it into the wrong position. And that's why I have this null here. So if I go to that track null, I hit P on the keyboard, it brings up the position. I can just highlight that, copy it, and then go to the mustache position and then paste it on top of there. And it's looking pretty good. So now I need to just come in and arrange this mustache so it's going the right direction. If I hit W on the keyboard, it brings up my rotate tool. You can see it looks like a little arrow spinning. If I hover over this green arrow, then I can rotate around that axis. Over the red, same thing. And let's scale it down. Let's get the mustache to where it needs to go. It's looking pretty good. Now that we got the mustache tracked in there, let's make it look thicker, more like a real mustache. And so how I did that is, if you're on CS6 or above, you have the ray traced 3D engine. And so if I take this 3D and I can come in, I have it turned on to ray traced. And if you don't have it turned on to ray traced, you need to go into your composition settings, go to advanced, and under the renderer, you have the ray traced 3D or the classic 3D. On ray traced, you can have now these geometry options. So under the geometry options, I have this curvature. And you can see I can curve this one way or the other. And that's kind of cool um, because the mustache doesn't lie flat on your face. It curves around because you don't have a flat face. So let's just find something that's a little bit good. And because it curves it, I do need to then move this in Z space a little bit back. And then let's check out the track. It's looking pretty good. Maybe it's not quite in the right spot. Let's move it right underneath his nose. Okay. Looking pretty good. Now, how do we make this so it looks a little bit more thicker? Because it still looks flat. And so uh, the trick to do with this is I'm going to take this mustache layer. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to add under the mat just a simple choker. And if I come in and solo this, then I can see I want to just choke it in a little bit. So it it doesn't go right to the edges. And then let's bring it out. Duplicate it again. Bring that out. You can already see it's starting to be thicker. Let's try one more. It needs a real thick mustache. And maybe this one I'll even bring the choker in a little bit more. Let's solo that. And then you can see how thicker that mustache looks, and it'll still, when he turns his head, everything will still line up just fine. Let's take a look at it without those on. So if I just hide those, you know, maybe it's a little bit too thick. It's this third, this fourth one. I'm going to just delete that one. Okay, so there is a mustache right on a guy. Now, how do we make this so it looks a little bit more lifelike? And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go into this composition, and you can see right here, he kind of smiles a little bit. So I'm going to, right here where he turns, I'm going to start a kind of a distortion here. So I'm going to go into this main composition, find that mustache, let's go to distort, and let's just do a mesh warp. Let's say 3 by 3 and let's 
keyframe the distortion mesh, then come to the end, and let's make his mustache kind of curl up a little bit. And maybe move down about like that. And then when we go into this composition, you can see he's smiling. Now, if I take these three mustaches, these three mustache layers, Command Shift C will pre-compose them, give it a name, and it disappears. So what you need to do is this Collapse Transformations button, which is this little sun and you click on it, it's going to come right back. But what this allows me to do is now I can add it like a color correction to this as a whole, and it's going to keep its thickness that we built with the three layers. So let's come to curves, and maybe let's try to match his hair a little bit. It's a better, a better of a color right there. Now let's give it a nice kind of a old-timey look. Let's grab a new adjustment layer and then go to the color correction tint let's take the white make it more of a brown and let's change the tint amount maybe even let's just do a general curves maybe make it a little bit brighter a little bit more washed out let's go to another adjustment layer and on this one we're going to create just a vignette so I'm going to just double click on this ellipse tool if you don't have it on you just click and hold and you can get the one you need double click on it creates a mask over that adjustment layer so I go to effect color correction exposure and bring down the exposure then I hit F on the keyboard it brings up my mask feather and then I hit inverted and I feather it I've got a nice little vignette going on and that's that's how to add a mustache to some guy's face. Now, I hope you learned a lot. The things that I did differently is I cropped in really close on the face, if you remember, and I used the 3D camera tracker in order to create kind of a fake 3D track. There's not a real way of doing a 3D track in After Effects. Um, so you have to do that with the 3D camera tracker. And then we duplicated the mustache a couple of times in order to make it so it fit on there and made it a little bit thicker. And there's a lot of finesse you can do to this to make it a little bit nicer. Um, but I think it's a pretty darn good job. It's, it's good for what I'm doing. And uh, if you need to put a mustache on someone, consider using this technique. I hope you learned a lot. Make sure you check out my channel. I put out tutorials every week. Two of them, actually. On Wednesdays, we do quick tips. And on Fridays, like today, we do longer tutorials um, like this one. So please go subscribe and tell me what you think of the channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.